Hello, Coach. Uh, Jess Stanbrook here from Athletes in Action. How we doing? Yeah, I'm doing awesome, man. Just uh, excited to talk to you guys and, and watch you guys play on Sunday. I'm just curious, uh, you know, we uh, deal with college athletes and stuff like that and, you know, really focus on not just the athletic side, but kind of what life is like um, and, and how, to, how to be positive role models in our society. So my question is, you know, how does your, uh, how does your faith play out in your life? I mean, you know, on and off the field. Uh, for me, uh, you know, every morning I walk in this building, I just, it's become a habit that I go to the uh, Bible app and I read the word of the day. If I don't understand something or I need some clarification on something, I go to Clyde uh, and my wife's big time Bible uh, study guy. She's big time into the Lord. So every morning I wake up, she's beating, if she beats me awake, she's already in the bed studying her Bible and uh, reading through scripture. So uh, that's big for me. And uh, we're trying to install all those things in our kids as we, as we travel along this thing called life. You know, like the word says, you know, iron sharpens iron. And he definitely took that role in, in mentorship. And just in two years, he didn't made a big impact on me personally. And, you know, spiritually, that's all that matters. Uh, at the end of the day, Super Bowls, uh, Super Bowl rings or contracts or fame, all that stuff is going to come and go. And uh, your relationship with Christ is what's going to stand forever. And uh, we got to keep everything in its rightful place. And uh, if you do that, you you be you come out all right. Well, I mean, just, just continuing to stay, um, you know, keep my spiritual base intact. You know, um, having my dad, who's really, you know, really strongly spiritually influenced, you know, in my life has been great during these times. You know, as you continue to you know, keep my family intact and, and just, you know, being somebody that my children and my wife can rely on and then being somebody that not only the team, but my running backs can lean on. So um, it's been very important to me to, to, to keep that um, that spiritual base, you know, um, not only in my personal life, but in my work life. See, like with this ACL injury, it's just like, it can really knock you down because like a lot of guys don't really know how how hard it is on the body and on the mind. So like the biggest thing for me is just I was trying to keep a positive like mentality, relying on God, uh, reading, reading different books and things like that. Just just so my mind could stay clear, because if your mind's not clear, you're not going you're not going to be able to make it because like it was some hard times throughout the year. I was struggling mentally and physically, but uh, just keeping my faith in God, just knowing that he's going to push me through those hard times and get me back to where I want to be. This past off season, I always believed in God, but I never like really put the time and day in like with God, like day in and day out. And I started doing that this last off season and it just uh, grounded me and made me like realize what was important and where I get the power from, where I get the strength to do all my daily activities from, and then just like the blessings that he just keep bestowing upon uh, me, my family, and it's just amazing. I just want uh, just want him to know that I want to give him all the praise, honor, and glory. That's the reason why I'm able to do everything that I'm able to do on the field, off the field, is all because of him. Thank you. We talked to a lot of different guys like Peyton Manning, uh, Tony Dungy, mm -hmm. who had great influence on on people. And, you know, like Peyton wrote in his book, you know, faith, family, friends, and football. Um, how do those things line up for you? And, and who have been some mentors in your life that have impact who you are as a player on and off the field? That it lines up just like that. Faith, family, then football. Football is definitely last. Family is the second. But faith, it goes hand in hand. It goes first. Every time I'm back here to catch that punt, first thing I do is I pray. You know, I, I send a quick prayer up to God. Anytime we go out there uh, before – you know, a big game, a practice, you know, you pray, you make sure that the Lord is going to cover you in his blood and he's going to do everything necessary to put you in the right position so you can thrive. So it's you and let your personality show. Oh, that's what it's all about, man. Your, your faith and your family and uh, football, you know. I used to have that on my college wall in, um, in my dorm, um, faith, family, and football. So, you know, I live by those same rituals. I actually wear a bracelet that says I am second to uh, always remind me who I'm playing for and uh, my abilities on the field that I play through the glory of God and football, you know, family and football comes right after that. You know why you're playing the game and you know that obviously you want to win, but at the end of the day, uh, you're doing it for something that's much bigger than yourself and you're trying to represent something that's much bigger than yourself. And I think having that confidence and having that trust lets you go out there and be who you are and play, for, uh, play freely.